Hi everyone, I'm Jerry Hargrove, the Amazon LightSail Developer Advocate. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy your first containerized application using Amazon LightSail containers. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new container service in Amazon LightSail, and then how to deploy a container to that service. More information about tutorials to accompany this video is included in the description below. Let's get started. To begin, log into your AWS account and navigate to the LightSail web console. From here, open the Containers tab and create a new container service. A container service requires a location, a capacity, and a name. The location of your container service determines which AWS region the service will be in. Choosing a location for your container service is just like choosing a location for a LightSail instance or other AWS resource. You might choose a particular region because it's close to your users and will reduce latency, or you might choose a particular region because you have data sovereignty or other regional requirements. I'm going to choose the AWS Oregon region because it's the closest region to my actual location and I'm the only user. The capacity of your container service determines how much power and scale your service will have. The power of your service is defined by the number of virtual CPUs and the amount of memory associated with each node in the service. The scale of your service is defined by the number of nodes it has. The power and scale that you need is determined by the requirements of your particular application. I'm going to go with a single nano node for my first container service, which I know doesn't require much capacity. It's important to know that if your capacity requirements change later on, you can very easily return and update both the power and scale of your container service. The name of your service should follow the documented naming guidelines and provided constraints. This name will become part of the default domain name for your container service, so it needs to be DNS compliant. I'm going to use my first service as an app descriptor. Finally, review your container service configuration, make any changes if you need to, and then create the container service. After a few minutes, your container service will be provisioned and ready for use. From the container service page, you can create and review deployments to the service, change the service's capacity, administer custom domains, and view service metrics. Now that you've created your container service, I'll show you how to deploy your first container to that service. On the Container Service page, open the Deployments tab and create a new deployment. A deployment is a set of specifications for the container workload that you want to launch in your container service. A deployment can handle up to 10 containers, and each container has a name, an image, and configuration options. For this video, you'll be deploying just a single container to your service, the official Nginx Docker image provided by Nginx. Nginx is a popular web server and reverse proxy. Many of you might already be familiar with it. The name of your container should follow the appropriate naming guidelines and should be something descriptive that allows you to identify your container easily. I'm going to use Nginx as the name, but other names like web or proxy might also be useful. Source container images can come from a public repository like Docker Hub or can be images that you've created and stored with your container service. I'll talk more about that in another video. We're using the official Nginx Docker image and can reference it directly by name. This will resolve to the latest version of the Nginx image available. You can also provide optional configuration like launch commands, environmental variables, and open ports for the container. These dynamic options allow you to provide configuration information to your container when it is created. For the Nginx container, you don't need to specify launch command or environmental variables, but do need to add an open port. The official Nginx container listens on port 80 for HTTP traffic. Public endpoints allow end users or consumers of your service to reach it from the internet. When you specify a public endpoint, LightCell will create a secure public HTTPS endpoint for your service that is accessible from the internet through the default domain name. If you had more than one container in your service that had open ports, you could choose from any one of those containers to act as your public endpoint, 
but can only have one public endpoint per container service at a time. After providing a name, image, and configuration for your container, and endpoint configuration, you can now create your deployment. Creating your deployment will take a few minutes. During creation, you can monitor the progress of your deployment here on the service page and by viewing service logs. Once your service has been deployed, you can visit the public endpoint with your browser by clicking on the link on the service page. Here you can verify that your Nginx web server has been deployed correctly and is accepting traffic from the internet. Once you've verified your container service is operating correctly and you're finished with it, you can easily delete your LightSail container service and all the resources associated with it, including deployments and saved container images. In this video, I've shown you how easy it is to deploy a containerized application in the cloud using Amazon LightSail containers. I've demonstrated how to create a new container service and how to deploy a container, all from the LightSail web console. Amazon LightSail containers is an easy way to get started with containers in the cloud, particularly for startups, developers, and hobbyists taking their first steps into containerization. You can use Amazon LightSail containers to learn about containers in the cloud, to gain experience managing containers in the cloud, and can do so with LightSail's simplified container orchestration. For more information about LightSail containers, please visit the LightSail product page. Thanks.